Hey, what's going on everyone? So I wanna make a quick video here on my thoughts on the new Accrued Redemption uh, reprise version, the new Stasis Glaive and the new uh, World Drop Bow, which is apparently the worst bow in the game. So we'll see about that. So yeah, let's start with the bow here. Uh, this is the Garden of Salvation bow, which is now craftable. The perk combination that I'm excited about is Archer's Tempo with Kinect Tremors. Now Kinect Tremors without enhance procs after three hits on a bow so if you enhance it it says here hit requirements are decreased by one so if that stays true on a bow this would proc after every two hits allowing you to one head one body guardians of all resilience because without kinetic tremors uh, a regular precision frame bow with no damage buff can only uh, one crit one body guardians up to tier five so yeah with kinetic tremors that extra 20 damage that you're dealing is enough to kill guardians of all resilience through one head, one body. Now, the other perk combination a lot of people are excited about is Archer's Gambit with Offhand Strike, which I feel like is okay because this is the first ever kinetic weapon or kinetic precision frame bow in the game with Archer's Gambit, which, you know, a lot of people are excited about that. However, I find no reason to do this, especially when we have two energy bows with Archer's Gambit and hip fire grip at the same time, allowing you to have it more consistent. But basically what I'm trying to say is that on a bow, you really, really want perks that benefit you inside of the duel, making the bow more consistent, making the bow more competitive, right? Archer's Gambit does a good job of that. But since Archer's Gambit only procs off hip fire, you want to make your hip fire accuracy much more consistent so you can proc Archer's Gambit more often, right? You don't want a win more perk like offhand strike. Although this does make your hip fire way more consistent, you need to get a kill to begin with. And if you can't get the initial kill, then this perk will pretty much be useless, right? So only evaluate perks off of that. If you can get the first kill consistently, then go ahead and use offhand strike. Uh, however, I think to the pain and Archer's Gambit is something that people undervalue because to the pain, similar to things like Eye of the Storm, are very good perks that uh, benefits while in combat. And outside of that, the origin trait is worth mentioning here. It deals more damage to overshields. Uh, for the mods here, there is a new mod called Tension, which, which is very similar to the Adapt Draw Time mod, but it's kind of split. It decreases your draw time by minus 22 base stat and increases your accuracy stat by plus six. Now, if I go for the typical elastic string and draw time masterwork, it'll bring the draw time down from 576 to 554. Um, however, if you are using something like Archer's Gambit, you always want free hand grip. If you're using the Archer's Tempo with Kinetic Tremors, you can probably use this, no problem. Now moving on to the Glaive here, this is the first ever Kinetic Slot Glaive in the game, which is very exciting. This is also an aggressive frame Glaive, it's also Stasis, it has Chill Clip, you get this from the Nightfall reward. So. A lot of people have laid their eyes on Chill Clip, which is very exciting on a Glaive, especially when it only has three in the mag. And since Glaive will always spawn with two in the mag, that first shot that you're getting will always have Chill Clip proc. So that's very exciting inside of PvP. This is good for two reasons. The first one is proccing Grim Harvest on Hunter. Grim Harvest, after you're defeating a slow target, uh, grants you a big stasis shard. This will grant you times three to frost armor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it'll also heal you because you are grabbing a stasis shard and it also refreshes 50% of your melee energy. So yeah, a very easy way to proc frost armor, which is very good, not only for the damage resist, but for the stasis fragments. And the second reason is proccing stylish executioner on prism hunter specifically, and only on prism because uh, on, on void, obviously you need a void debuff, but yeah, stylish, you kill the slow target, it'll grant you invisibility and wall hex. So yeah, if you're building around these two aspects, chill clip is very, very good. The other perk that I'm excited about is surrounded. Now, Surrounded normally only gives you, what, 40% damage increase? Let me see. Yeah, only 40% without enhance. But if you have it enhance, which you can, uh, it'll go up to 47. You can pair that with Mask of Bacchus, which allows you to one-hit Guardians up to tier 9. So tier 9 and under, you can one-shot. So yeah, most of the time, you're going to kill Guardians, no problem. And the best way you can utilize this is diving in or rushing in, I guess. You can use Stasis or you can use Prism Hunter with Grapple. You can grapple in using a Blink and then follow it up with a Grapple Melee backwards dodge away you can also proc radiance off that too right so radiant here gives you a 10 percent damage increase where is it there you go and yeah if you have radiant you don't really need mask of backwards because you're already dealing almost 240 damage so yeah, depending on your build backwards or radiant or shiver striking in proccing radiant there as well and not only that the origin trait since this is a vanguard weapon you can also have vanguard's vindication every time you get a kill it heals you by 10 hp so yeah very very good origin trait here especially when you're playing very aggressively you need all the healing in the world right and that's basically it 
<clears throat> Moving on to the World Drop Bow, which is the final weapon in this video. A lot of people are saying this is the worst bow in the entire game, which I cannot agree more. However, there's one niche to this weapon that no other bows can have. Uh, on base, if I remove this mod, this bow can have 20 zoom. This is the only bow in the game that have 20 zoom. Normally bows have 18, there are only two bows with 19, which is Ventral Whisper and Imperial Needle. And finally we have the Neoplot, I'm not gonna pronounce that, which has 20 zoom and you can pair that with the Marksman Optic High plus two zoom. So 22 zoom on top of Rangefinder. And the reason why you want these is because uh, zoom matters on bows because of the aim assist. Bows have infinite range, but they don't have infinite aim assist. So if you try to float with a bow in Vostok, for example, it's gonna be really, really hard for you to hit headshots. For the string and masterwork, I'll always go for elastic string and draw time masterwork to bring it down to 576. Uh, the arrow doesn't really matter. And finally, we have Lone Wolf. So yeah, if you're floating, you will pretty much always proc Lone Wolf. Uh, this is a new perk, which reads slightly improves aim assist, aim down sight speed, and airborne effectiveness, increases these effects when there are no nearby allies. So if you are floating, this thing will always proc. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want this bow roll just to try it out. But outside of that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.